Hi, Mr. Jones. Good to see you again. Hi, how are you? I'm a surgical oncologist, which means I take care of patients with solid tumors that arise from the skin or soft tissue sites such as muscle, fatty tissue, uh, nerve, and so on, and occasionally liver and pancreas tumors. Being able to help a patient in the operating room to be able to walk into an operating room and to be able to walk out two or three hours later knowing that I may have helped cure somebody of cancer is one of the most remarkable professional privileges I think someone can have. But one of the challenges we face is that so many patients are unable to undergo curative surgical procedures for their cancer. So I do what I can as a surgeon, but over the years, I became increasingly frustrated with our inability to help the majority of patients who have these tumor types. What makes a patient ineligible for a potentially curative surgery? It's often the result of multiple factors. There's the volume of disease, which in plain English means the number of tumors they have in their liver, for example. The location of the tumors, if a tumor is located close to a very important blood vessel uh, that we can't remove, we may not be able to do surgery. How far and wide the cancer is spread. Somebody has cancer that started in their liver, but it's also spread to their lungs and into their abdominal cavity, well then removing the tumor in the liver is probably not gonna be very helpful if we can't remove everything else. For those patients, we often don't offer a surgical procedure, but we do need better options. What I've really focused my career on now is something called immunotherapy, which are treatments designed to stimulate the patient's own immune system to seek and destroy and attack the cancer. Our immune systems actually have the ability to recognize cancer as something that shouldn't be there. The problem is, Cancer cells have ways of shutting our immune systems off. And immunotherapy is designed to re-stimulate or reinvigorate or wake up the patient's immune system so that it now can fight the cancer and help keep it at bay and even eliminate it. The advances that we've seen in cancer care in general and immunotherapy in particular just over the last 10 years have been nothing short of extraordinary. So when I was a medical student or a resident and we would talk to patients with stage four melanoma or stage four lung cancer, there was very little positive to discuss with that patient in that clinic room. Today we can talk about immunotherapy drugs that are approved that have very high response rates where a proportion of the patients, still a minority, but there are patients that can be cured and achieve long-term disease control, which is something we couldn't talk about even 15 and certainly 20 years ago. The problem is, there are still large unmet needs. And this is particularly glaring or striking when you look at patients with liver cancer, primary liver cancer that starts in the organ, metastatic liver cancer, tumors that start, for example, in the colon or the stomach or the breast that spread to the liver, and then pancreas cancer. These are all areas where immunotherapy has not succeeded to any large extent yet. And that's what the lab that we have running at Lifespan is focused on, that's what the clinical trials that we're gonna to bring to Rhode Island are going to be focused on. The work we're doing is very cutting edge. It requires a research and academic infrastructure that is typically only present at a top academic site. Brown and Lifespan certainly offer that. The opportunity to work at one of the top tier academic medical centers in the country with a, with a surgical group that's very experienced uh, and has a very high volume, those are two of the key factors that drew me and, and our team to come work here. It's a beautiful state. We love the beaches. There are so many great restaurants. I'm a foodie coming from New York and Rhode Island has lived up to my high expectations. It's a great place to raise children. We love living here and I love being part of the community and I've been fortunate to be able to help so many Rhode Islanders with cancer and I wanna keep doing that.